beginning of the month um, it's time for me to show you um, all the beauty and makeup and lovely things that I have bought throughout September um, there's quite a lot actually, it's a big pile um, I'll try not to talk too much about them, a lot of them there's not a lot to say so um, yeah I'll try to be quite quick um, but I hope you enjoy um, I'm just going to start. The first things I thought I would show you, just so I can stop rabbiting on about my holiday, um, is what I bought in duty free. Um, so most of this, um, three of these things were bought on the way there and one on the way back. This was in Gatwick duty free as well. Um, so the first thing that I bought um, was from the MAC counter. Um, this was something that I had on like, well, I don't know, not a list, like a mental list that I thought I want an eyeliner. Um, I was kind of between Teddy or Coffee or Power Surge, um, but Teddy was probably more, more of like something that I'm used to. It's just, a, oh, I haven't sharpened it. It's a dark brown with sort of a bronzy shimmer to it. Um, it's really lovely and creamy and doesn't smudge very easily and I really like it. Um, I can't remember how much it was, I think they're about... £14, I probably paid about 12 in duty free um, but they are very like long eyeliners, I think it will last a while but um, I kind of wish I got power surge as well because I think that's really pretty um, so I'm really happy with that and the other MAC thing I bought was the Pro Longwear Concealer um, now you're probably looking at me saying that's not the pot for the Pro Longwear Concealer um, it is not because on the second day of my holiday um, I managed to drop it on the floor and it smashed everywhere and I managed to salvage like the top half of the bullet and I was like I don't want to throw this away because it's brand new um, and I had a little like lush lip scrub with me that had gone a bit like out of date so I washed it out and popped all my concealer in there so this is where I'm keeping it at the moment it's a shame because I like the little pump that it comes in which is because it's really hygienic and stuff but I had to save my MAC concealer any way possible. Um, I got the shade NW15 because I'm quite pale um, and I really like it. It's so creamy and the coverage is amazing but it doesn't feel like cakey. The only thing I would say about it, I think the smell is really funky. Yeah, I don't, I can't even describe that smell. It's really, it's a bit musky to be honest but um, Yes, yeah, so I'd really recommend it, but I would not recommend dropping it on any tiled or hardwood floors. The other thing I bought from Duty Free was on the Dior counter. This I had not gone and planned to buy it at all. It was just too pretty and it just drew me in and I was like, okay, I'm just going to buy it. Um, it is the Five Colours Mystic Metallics palette in 864 Constellation. Um, it looks like this. Hopefully you can see that. Um, just some gorgeous colours, um, there's like a sort of taupey colour, um, a sparkly purple, um, a sort of more muted purple, a very sparkly gold and this middle one's like a sort of sheeny pinky colour. Um, I was just, I think it's just a gorgeous palette with the stars that are like imprinted into the shadow and it was this gold colour actually that really drew me into it um, and it's just really gorgeous um, I think I paid £35 for this and it retails for £41 um, outside of duty free so I was quite pleased with how much I saved there um, and it's lovely, I really really like it, I'm very happy I'm hoping that you can like maybe see like the colours on my fingers there just to get an idea of what they look like but it is lovely and I know it does come in a um oh sorry I'm shining my ring off this I know it does come in another colourway um like a sort of I think it still has the golds but it's like a khaki green type colour so that's quite pretty as well the final thing I bought in Duty Free and this was on the way back in Paphos Airport um, and it had a very Duty Free there but I just I had some euros to burn and they have quite a nice like L'Oreal counter in there and um, they had these new L'Oreal lipsticks I don't even know what they're called it says Caress on the bottom but they're these new ones that um, it's got like two colours in it um, like one in the middle and one around the outside and they're very like um, sparkling glittery and I just like this one, this one is the shade 204 Berry and Bloom um, and I was just sort of after like a nice berry shade um, for the autumn and I just thought I'll try it out, I will swatch it for you on my hand I'm hoping you can see that it's got a very strong like pink shimmer 
or glitter actually running through it but it's like this lovely pinky berry colour and I've worn it a lot actually they're really moisturising and lovely I'm really sorry I don't actually know what they're called and I don't even know if they sell them in the UK at all but if they do I will link them below the next thing I bought was actually something that I did want to buy in duty free but they didn't have it I think it's because it's like um, a limited edition one which is probably even more annoying because it's limited edition it's going to be really hard to find if you do like it but I have seen it on the occasional counter in Boots or Debenhams it's the Estee Lauder Signature 5 Tone Shimmer Powder and this is number one pink shimmer you can get a number two which I think is called Bronze Shimmer which is more of a bronzy colour um, it's absolutely gorgeous I had to hunt this down as well because I was relying on it being duty free um, I couldn't find it when I got back and um, like when she was there I was like when I got to the Estee Lauder counter um, they had the bronze one and the lady came up to me and was like oh can I help you and I said oh have you got the pink one and she was like yeah I think we've got one left and I was like can I have it <laughs> and she was like yes and I was like oh oh thank you <laughs> um, I think she thought I was a crazy person so um, yes got these gorgeous five tones of pink running through it um, I just swirled them all together which gives off this Oh, it's not coming off very well in my hand it's just like a gorgeous pink shimmer it looks beautiful on the cheeks I've been wearing it every day lately um, I hope you can see that I'm very sorry if you can't but it is so gorgeous um, and yeah I've really been loving it this was £30 but I got it on a 10% off day so it was 27 and then she told me I had a £10 reward on my beauty card so I was so happy about that um, and yeah you could use all the shades individually as well if you like like they've got like a sort of very whitey one up there which would be an amazing inner corner or brow bone one and then like a deep pink which you could just sort of use so solely on cheeks as well but I just love it swirled together and it's beautiful the other things I've got is a few soap and glory makeup products um I just had a bit of like a momentary obsession with them and ended up buying three um, I'm really so impressed. It's the only soap and glory stuff I've got, makeup wise, and they're really good. I really like them. Um, the first thing that I bought was, well, actually, the reason that I was looking at them was because I wanted Glow All Out. Fleur de Force had uh, mentioned this on her channel, and I really, really liked it. Um, so I wanted to treat myself. Um, this is like a highlighter, but it's not over. It's not like a sh really shimmery one. It's just kind of like a beautiful sort of pink colour a beautiful like it's this one here you might be able to see the Estee Lauder one better there it has actually come out alright on my hands um, but like a really sort of beautiful pink it's not even like glittery or shimmery it's just kind of like glow it's a really strange powder but it really is amazing um, and I've really been loving wearing that lately um, and also they were on 2 for 15 on some of their makeup so I picked up one of their blushes well it's a multicolour blush brick which is called Peach Party. It's so gorgeous and shimmery um, and it's got all these different shades in it. Again you could use the shades separately, they are really nice in their own. I did use this one as like a brow bone highlight and it's lovely. Um, and But I just again saw them all together and this is much more peachy and shimmery as it's called Peach Party. It's got a lot of like gold tone in it which makes it really nice for summer. I don't know if I wear it as much in the winter. But it's that one there. I hope that you can see that. And it's I mean it's almost bronzy as well. It's it's really quite nice. Um so that was lovely. I think they retail out like eleven pounds each, so to get them on two for fifteen is quite a good deal. Um and the other one I sort of picked up separately because I was just so impressed with the other two, um, is solar powder, which is a bronzer. Honestly, my favourite ever bronzer, best thing I've used yet. It's got two, this is a matte brown, and then this is sort of like a goldy, I don't know, it's got gold glittery shimmer in it, but it's still like a nice sort of bronzy colour. Um, it's very well loved, you can probably tell, because it did have the Soap and Glory logo, but you can hardly see it. Um, and I just swirl my brush in there and put it like underneath my cheekbones and up onto my temples. I love it. It's perfect if you're pale like me. It's absolutely perfect. So I swatch that all together. Hopefully my arm is quite a little bit more tan than my face. So 
it's just that sort of colour. It doesn't look muddy or orange or anything. It's just a really good bronzing colour and I love it. Next things I bought was a few things from um, Essential. I've been really into sort of French skincare brands at the moment and my skin had been really horrific until like before I went on holiday. And um, so I put this down to a mixture of my Alpha H liquid gold um, and this stuff and Hydroluron, which is something that I've also bought lately. Um, I bought um, some stuff from Avain. I've got the Extremely Gentle Cleanser and the um, Ultra Rich Cleansing Gel. Um, I use this in the morning in the shower and this at night to take my makeup off. Um, and I was going on the principle that I was putting too much on my skin. I just wanted to strip it back to something that was good for sensitive skin and it has worked. My skin has cleared up so well. Um, and I also bought um, their thermal spring water which I sometimes spray on my face to calm it down as well I love that and I also bought one of their masks this is the cleanance mask um, which I use just once a week just to sort of clear up any spots and I also bought from La Roche Posay um, a Feclia H compensating soothing moisturiser which is good for skin that has oily skin made fragile by over drying skincare and I was like that is what I need because um, where I have had spots I've got like dry patches on my face combination of that with my hydroluron which is something that I bought from Boots um, this month as well because it was on um, a third off for 16.66 um, has just really just improved my skin and I'm so happy at the moment um, and as well with my liquid gold as well which I love um, I'm hoping to do sort of a get ready with me like my nighttime routine I want to do morning first because I've had that requested but I do my nighttime routine so you can see like what I use to like make my skin look nice um, I also bought a couple of bits from the body shop this month um, they were having their 40% off sale which is amazing as always so I, um, I did pick up some Christmas presents but I couldn't resist swapping in a few things for myself um, one thing I got is the Vanilla Eau de Toilette. Um, I have some of their body sprays and I've always wanted the vanilla one but I thought for a pound more I'll go for the perfume just to see what it's like. And it's really lovely, it's a really sort of sweet but musky vanilla -y scent. I was kind of thinking oh vanilla summer but it's not, it's because it's quite, it's a little musky, it's lovely for winter. Um, and yeah it's £8.50 but it's 40% off, ridiculously cheap so I love that. And I also purchased the Vitamin C Energising Face Spritz. Um, I think there's a £9, but I had 40% off, obviously. I've got the Vitamin E one, but I just always wanted to try this one out. So um, I think I've only used it like twice. I don't really comment on how it works or anything, but that's what I bought. Next thing I bought, very drugstore thing, and a Tanya Burr enabled purchase. She's my favourite YouTuber, so... Um, this was kind of brought on by her in her back to school video. She talked about some of the Maybelline eyeshadows, in particular, in particular Iced Fudge. Um, and I decided to try some of the other Maybelline like um, solo eyeshadows. Um, so here is Iced Fudge, which is this lovely like shimmery taupe colour. Um, and also got this one, which is Rose Tint, which is like a sort of peach. Um, pink shimmery colour um, this one's not my favourite because I find it a bit powdery and the next one I've got is beige nude um, I do find this one a bit powdery as well but the pigment is a bit better it's kind of like sort of a goldy creamy colour which is really lovely they're all shimmery because I don't really wear anything other than shimmer but um, hopefully you can see them there you've got um, ice fudge, rose tint and beige nude and they come in at about £4 each but I got them when it was buy one get one half price in boots on all their makeup ranges so I do enjoy them. I think I wouldn't recommend rose tint because it's very powdery and the pigment's not very good but the other two are very very pigmented and feel really like creamy and lovely when you swatch them so they are lovely very good for like those on a budget or like if you're you know just starting to wear makeup because they're, they're nice little colours to start off with but I will link Tanya's video down below because she shows you what to do with ice fudge and beige nude so that could be a good look 
And the final thing that I, okay, I say thing, things, these are all nail varnishes. Um, I feel like I put them off, but one of them was a set, so it's not too bad. Um, I bought, I bought a few of the simple colours ones. Um, I bought Easy Going. Um, this is supposed to be a dupe of Essie Fiji, and I wore this on holiday, and I loved it. And these are just such a bargain for one ninety nine. I think they're amazing, really good formula. So that's Easy Going. They're just like a really like light light pink. Um, I also got 24 7 which is a really bright neon pink I love that I've got that on my toes at the moment that looks amazing with a tan the other one I got was pink forever um I don't really know why I got this I think I thought it was going to be brighter than it was but it's still like a nice um sort of girly pink to have in your nail varnish collection other ones I bought um I picked up the um color club wanderlust um gift set which you can buy exclusively on the birch box website i will link that below um i kind of really bought it for this one um which is rain in spain i wore this on my nails on holiday and i love it it's like this gorgeous coral peach neon orange color it's amazing um and you also get three more in the set um you get pardon my french which is a lovely bright lilac color i've worn that and i really like that um London Calling, this awesome like, uh, it's, they're really strange colours because they're like pastel but neon, neon at the same time. Um, yeah, so it's like a pastel neon apple green I guess. And the last one you get is Mod in Manhattan which is a lovely like white off white cream colour. And the last two things in this haul and nail varnishes I got were a couple of the L'Oreal nail varnishes. These are like their, um, what are they called? colorish but the like nail toppers or whatever they call them um i got this one which is called bling bling bang which is like it's a lovely color that's what just drew me to it. it just reminded me of like winter and christmas it's kind of almost like cadbury purple but a bit bluer i guess just that sparkly and it's gorgeous and the other one i got is sequin explosion which is just sort of loads of multicolored glitter in there um, there's like pinks, blues, greens, silvers, but I just thought I didn't have anything like that in my nail polish collection. So, yes, really like them. They're four ninety nine each, I think, and you can get them in boots. If you'd like me to do a nail polish collection, I will at some point because I have a massive like basket this big of them, and I don't know how I'll film it, but I can show you. It might be a really long video. <laughs> um. So that is my beauty haul for September. I really hope you enjoyed it and this hasn't been too long um, and haven't waffled too much as well. So thank you for watching and um, I hope you subscribe or give this video a thumbs up or a comment or whatever you would like to do and I will see you next time. Bye!